All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Structure Free Chica Chica Learning. And in this video, we return to engineering dynamics and look at a special case of 1D motion, the case of constant acceleration. And what we'll do is derive the equations that are really popular for constant acceleration that we use for 1D motion. And examples of objects that experience constant acceleration include really anything that has that's falling so like you throw a ball and after you re after you release the ball that object is only be experiencing constant acceleration due to gravity and in general anything that has that has acceleration only due to gravity is an example of constant acceleration i'll show you a picture of a, an incline plane and here, this object released from rest on the incline is experiencing constant acceleration. And, and so these are all examples of constant acceleration. So constant acceleration is a special case where the acceleration, whether it's respect to time, respect to position, with respect to velocity, is just equal to a constant or a number. I'll call that AC. So what I could do is, with this constant acceleration case, I can use a c, it's a constant, is equal to dv dt, and integrate this to get velocity as a function of time. And then once I have the velocity as a function of time, I can use this relationship to get position as a function of time very quickly. All right. I could also use this relationship where we eliminate time. And this would be this AC DS equals VDV. And I could e relate, I could use this relationship to relate position to velocity with the constant acceleration value. We can come up with the three popular equations for constant acceleration using each of these three relationships in pink. And so we'll go ahead and do that. So here for the first thing that we'll do in this derivation is determine the velocity with respect to time. And so in this relationship here, we're applying this constant acceleration value is equal to dv dt and then I go ahead and I set up the integral. Again, AC is just a number. DT is equal to DV. I integrate with respect to time and velocity. So here, this would be T naught to T, V naught to V right here. And usually, the most popular sets of equations have the initial time as 0. So usually, we would have T0 equals 0. The initial velocity, V at time 0, would be V naught. And then, and even the position at time zero would be S naught or some value right there. And so here, if I go ahead and I integrate this relationship, I would get ACT is equal to V minus V naught. And this will result in this very popular equation. This velocity with respect to time is V naught plus ACT. All right, so I have velocity with respect to time, and then I can go ahead and I can apply the definition of velocity to determine the position with respect to time. And in this case here, we'll be using this velocity is ds dt. I substitute this function for velocity with respect to time to set up the integral. And so here I would have v naught plus act dt is equal to ds, and then I would integrate each of these sides right here. This would be s naught to s, t naught to t. This right here is zero. And again, when I integrate, I would have v naught t plus one half ac t squared. If I evaluate this from zero to t is equal to uh, s evaluated from s naught to s like this and this when I go ahead and I finish this out this would be if I if I evaluate I would get that s is equal to s naught plus v naught t plus one half a c t squared and this gives me this rather popular position equation all right and then if I use my last relationship 
here, this, this relationship here, where I've eliminated or substituted for time and have a relationship between velocity and position, I would get, let's see here, this would be AC dS is V dV, like this. And again, that AC is constant, so no big deal. If I, boom, set up the integral, this would be S naught to S, V naught to V, like this. I would have AC S evaluated from S naught to S is equal to 1 half V squared evaluated from V naught to V. And this yields another popular relationship. This would be AC times S minus S naught is 1 half V squared. 1 half V naught squared. And you've probably seen it this way. V squared minus V naught squared is 2 AC times S minus S naught like this. All right. And this is, again, another popular relationship here. All right, and you can get this really, you don't have to integrate. If you actually here, if you took this, if you took this relationship and solved it with respect to time, this would be V minus V naught over AC, and then you substitute this into the position function, then you would end up with the exact same relationship as we have down there, all right? And so these are my three very popular equations associated with constant acceleration. I have my velocity with respect to time, my position re with respect to time, and then the relationship between velocity and position when I have constant acceleration in 1D motion. All right, hopefully this was useful. Take it easy. Structure free.